In this session, let's understand how to use scenario data table. In other words, how we can data drive a particular Gherkin scenario. In the last session, we used how we can use data for a particular step. Now in this particular session, we are going to see how we can use a data table for the complete scenario, wherever we need data in whatever step, we should be able to use the data from a particular data table which we are going to create again in the feature file itself and how to data drive that test case and what i mean to say by data drive is how we can repeatedly run the same test case for multiple rows of data so if the data table has two rows of data then test case will run this particular scenario will run two times okay how to do it let's say in this particular section it's very important now let's create a scenario first let's say on the ebay home page what i want to do is i want to test these links so i want to create a scenario a gherkin scenario which test these links let's say i click on motor and then i want to verify that page navigates to this particular url and the title of the page should contain ebay motors these two words at least should be there in the title of the new page which appears after clicking on this motors link over here and similarly for a couple of links and we can extend this scenario for other links as well so let's do it for like three links motors fashion and twice okay, so let's start writing a gherkin scenario now this is from the ebay home page so i'm just going to go back to ebay home page here and let's begin writing the scenario now let's write scenario and as this particular scenario is going to use a scenario data table we will call it as scenario outline we'll not call it just a scenario we'll call it as an outline because this particular scenario that we're going to write is going to execute for multiple number of times depending number of how many rows of data we are going to add to the particular data table okay okay just stay with me things will be clear as we write this scenario and create a step definition for that so for now i am creating a scenario outline okay let's call it as home page links now i'm going to use the same given step i'm on ebay home page then when i click on now the scenario is we want to click on links like motors fashion electronics toys whatever links we want to test we want to click on those so how will it look if i create multiple when and statements like something like for example i click on motors link and i click on this link and that link something like this so it can go on and on and again this is not dynamic let's say if some other links appear over here we have to go back and make changes in the steps and therein we will have to make change in the step definitions okay so this will work i'm not saying it will not work we can add as many and statements over here and say i click on this link i click on that link but with scenario outline with scenario data table we can just do something like this we will say i click on let's say link and let's take it in these angular brackets and surround it with single quotation okay just stay with me i'm saying when i click on link then i validate that page navigates to now url we are going to verify url of new page here okay same thing for here angular brackets and I validated that page navigate to url and title contents so what we are validating is when we click on a particular link that page should navigate to this particular url that we are going to specify in the data table row and title should contain this one whatever value we are going to provide in title column of that data table now let's create a data table over here the way we will create it is by writing examples Okay, this is the syntax this is how we want to write the data table when we are going to create it we will call it as examples colon 
and over here we'll start writing our data table so this is the header name so first is link okay then second header is this url it should be exactly similar to what we are writing here case sensitive so we need three columns of data first column is link second column is url third column is title and then let's start writing our data actual data so let's say first link is this motors okay then the title and url is so this is the url and title of the page should contain this one ebay motors let's just pick this part so we are not checking for exact value of title here we are just checking this part should be present okay and we can add as many rows of data okay let's say fashion so for fashion we have this url to be validated against and the title should contain fashion products for sale so we'll just use this word fashion okay let's pick up another link and we can add as many rows of data as we want let's say toys and when we click on toys it goes to this particular url that we want to validate and the title should contain toys this particular text over here okay don't worry about formatting we can just select all right click and do a pretty format also you can use this shortcut okay so now it looks better we can see the options for link url and title so what will happen is this particular scenario right now will get executed three times for these three rows when it will execute for the first time it will pick up the data from this first row for the second iteration it will pick up the data from the second row for the third iteration it will pick up the data for, from the third row and so on and so forth if we have 10 rows of data this particular scenario will run for 10 times each time it will pick up different row of data okay, that is the data driving that is the concept of data driven gherkin scenario it's very important now from which column it's going to pick the data it's a common sense over here link this refers to this link column so when this particular step is executed it will pick up the data from this particular column when this particular step executes over here it will utilize this value over here it will utilize this value as simple as that now let's go ahead and create step definition for this now to generate the snippet you know that's the most beautiful thing about cucumber it generates snippet for you so you can readily use it and add your selenium code so for that let me add some unique tag over here so we can run this and make dry run as true okay so hey guys if you like these videos you may also like my fully fledged courses on java selenium and cucumber bdd links are given in the description so do check out so it has generated quite a bit snippets let me check what's going on okay so actually this particular scenario got executed three times in the in the dry run as well and that's why it is generating six snippets but actually we just need two of them it's actually repeating you know if you look at this one and this over here they're exactly same there's no difference at all so that's just because cucumber is thinking this has three different scenarios as it is executing three times okay we don't need to get all of them just to get one pair one click and one validate so one when and one then step 
so let's go to step definition file for ebay home and write this over here now what does it say simple thing when i click on string so it will automatically pick up the value from this particular string value in this case it is this column over here so all we need to do is just click on the string now it's a pure selenium part what i'm going to do is i'm going to use driver dot find element by link text in selenium we can find a link by using its text so we can simply use it over here and then click so that's what it is going to do for the first iteration it's going to pick up motors as the link text and going to click on motors link for the second iteration it'll click on fashion link and for the third toys link that's it as simple as that now cucumber will take care of picking the data from these different rows okay we don't have to worry about it we should just make sure that gherkin is written in this actual fashion and also note the difference when we use parameter and when we use it as a outline inside an outline when we are expecting to use an examples data table we should have this angular brackets when we use it as just a parameter then only single quotations will do we don't have to add these angular brackets okay now let's go to the second one here after i click on the link let me just give it some breathing time to navigate to the link so i'm going to add thread dot sleep we can add some dynamic way of synchronization as well i'm just going to avoid a complex selenium part over here because of course we want to focus on cucumber concepts not on selenium so just one second of static weight that's what i'm adding and then moving to the second step definition here i validate that page navigates to this page and the title contains this so this is the first is for url so and this is for title we can change these names guys it's okay they don't have to be what we are using here a simple rule is for the first argument of the method it will pick up the value from first parameter here and for the second argument it will pick up the value from the second parameter here okay now for validation again we can use actual values let's say string actual url is equal to driver dot get current url that will give us the actual url of the page and string actual title so we will do something like driver dot get title that will give us the actual title of the page now all we need to do is just validate it if this actual url equals the expected url which is this one over here if this is same we don't have to worry if this is not same then only we have to fail a particular scenario so we'll say that page does not navigate to expected url and also you can combine what is expected this was the expected url okay and this is custom you can customize this failure message however you want now second thing second validation is the title should contain this particular title should contain this particular word that we are doing over here these keywords should be part of the page title that's what we want to validate so for that okay again guys this is selenium part and java part so if you're facing any issues let me know i'm going pretty quickly through this so the actual title should contain this if it does not contain then only we will fail the scenario will say that title mismatch we are not checking for the exact match here we are just saying this particular keyword should be present in the actual title if not then it will fail okay simple over here created a scenario outline 
we have to call it scenario outline because this is not one scenario it's a bunch of three scenarios and actual data is over here and then data is provided by using another keyword that is called as examples with colon and then whatever parameters or whatever you want to call them we are using over here those exact words should be used as headers when we write the scenario data table these are the things which we want to remember over here now let's go ahead and quickly run this one scenario so i'm going to make dry run as false okay and let's see how it works now we can expect this scenario to run three times so we'll see chrome will get launched three times first time it'll click on motors link yes it clicked okay now second now it should click on fashion yes and for the last time it should do the same for toys link yes it's clicking on toys and validating the url and title of the page and we can see interestingly it is saying three scenarios yes even though for us when we look at it it's just uh, one scenario but as it got executed three times it is saying three scenarios three passed nine steps very important and also when we look at JUnit report this is more interesting here it also says this particular scenario got executed three times and also the number of seconds so JUnit also saying three scenarios not one because it is using different set of data during each iteration so that is the data driven testing in cucumber very very important okay please practice go to any website you like create your scenario uh, though it be a scenario for clicking on any links or entering data into some edit boxes or clicking multiple check boxes or doing whatever just try to create a scenario where you need to use multiple rows of data and you want to drive it multiple times and practice at least by creating two to three scenario outlines if you have any issues let me know because this concept and the concept that we saw in the last session this concept of step data table are very very important we use these two concepts a lot of times in the actual projects so thank you so much and let me know if you have any questions